What is up guys? I'm Professor Pierre Gorigonati. Let me welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thank you so much. I'm guessing that if you click in this video, probably you already know what PHP and MySQL are. That's why you might skip any presentation to them and probably you have found some packages on the internet like WAMP Server and Zamp. Alright, now I'm going to present you a script that I just created to install these four programs to mount our PHP server on Windows systems. Apache service, which is an HTTP server, PHP, we're going to install also MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. They are portable, easily. Okay, let's get started. Obviously, you need to download these softwares. I just want to warn you that the script only works on Windows 10 or above. With the following version of these programs Apache 2.4.54, PHP 8.1.8, .8, MySQL 8.0.29, PHP MyAdmin 5.2.0. They are 64 bit. Okay, great. First step, browse to the first link in the description. It's my GitHub page where you, you follow me if you want to. Click in here to follow me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now we can find a repository called Portable PHP MySQL Installer. Click on it. Then download the programs. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, once you have all four, click the code button to download the script. I already have the four. Click code button, download zip to download the script. All right. We have two languages, EN and PTBR. Basically, now we have five files, right? Because you need to choose which language is better to make your installation. At the moment, as I said, we have English and PTBR. We have five files and the script checks for administrator permission. That's why we need to run it as an administrator. Double click on it or run as an administrator. It will extract from zip files to C drive slash APM server or servidor APM if your choice was run the TBR version. It will extract the other files, install two services, one related to MySQL and the other one is an Apache service. We will set these two services as manual initialization, create two additional scripts on desktop to start and stop your APM server. At the end, open MySQL database console in order to finish this installation very quickly and clean. Extracting data, please wait. All right, now we have MySQL database console. What next? You can go back to GitHub page to get a little more information or join our Discord server for troubleshooting. We have information here. And Probably you want to change your or set a password for root user. Use this command to do so. All right. If you put a password for root user, you need to change the start APM server script like this. These two additional scripts in 
need to change this if you put a password. Change. Actually add dash P. Like that. Okay, now you can start again. Run as an administrator. We'll prompt you to put your password. As you can see, my password was my new, your new password. Okay. All right. What next? Uh, that's it. Basically, you have now a PHP server installed with MySQL database ready. Bye. Oh, I forgot to show you the host, local host. We have the local host my website folder right here it's empty and one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one it's my php my admin area root i need your new password And boom, informations, server version 8.0.29, Apache 2.4.54, etc. All right, now we have done.